Hello guys, in this episode, I show you how to make a photo book. Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. My name is Serge Amélie. I'm a French photographer living in Paris, beautiful city of Paris. Welcome to episode 27 of my photography, Lightroom and Photoshop tips. Last week, I showed you an incredible technique from Calvin Hollywood, a great retoucher from Germany called the Amazing Freaking Details. Check out last week's episode, but this is the before photo, before the retouching, and after the retouching with the Amazing Freaking Details. Freaking Amazing Details, more exactly. All right, this week, I'm not going to show you a retouching technique. I'm going to show you how to make a book like this one, using Lightroom 4 and Blurb. When Lightroom 4 came out last year, they made a deal with a publisher, a book publisher called Blurb. And I have been making books with Blurb for many years and I'm really happy that they choose Blurb because they are really awesome in terms of quality of books. Now, this tutorial is not going to show you all you can do to make a book. It's like a quick introduction, but honestly, you should be able to make a book after watching this video. It's slightly a bit longer than usual, but, uh, you know, it takes what it takes. It's not an extensive course on a subject. It's really just an introduction. But I really encourage you to make books. Having books is really, you know, it's a pleasure that you have your own photos, you know, for every trip or major events. And uh, it's really something that you can keep. And uh, I, ju I just love it. And you will see, you will love it too when you try it. Okay, so let me show you how we make a book. All right, guys, so as I explained you in the introduction, I'm not going to go into all the details about how you make a book because you could make a pretty extensive course on the subject. I'm just going to give you a little introduction and a trick that I use when I make books uh, that enables me to do it very fast. So on my left, ladies and gentlemen, I have a collection with 40 photos from Venice, Italy, and I want to make a book about Venice. And I just all I did was select my collection and click on the book module here. Here is the empty uh, book interface. And um, so let me show you two ways you can make books. You can either uh, do it uh, page by page. And the way it goes is, um, so you've got three view. You've got the overall view, which is, you know, this four windows where you can see all your books, or you've got the two page spread, or you got the one page spread. So let's start with a two page spread and let's decide what type of books do we want. So the partner of Lightroom is Blurb. Uh, so size, I'm going to go for um, a large landscape in this case. Uh, large landscape, 13 uh, times 11 inch or 33 times 28 centimeter. Um, cover, I'm going to go for hardcover image wrapped. That's cool. And paper type, I'm going to go from premium lustre. That's what I usually use. You have four types of paper. I'm going to go for that. And logo, that's a funny thing. Look, I'm at 52 euros. But that's because I took a big book. Usually I go for the standard landscape, which is a lot cheaper, like 30 euros instead of 50. But logo page on, check it out. If you put none, uh, you pay 37 euros. If you put it on, you get 7 euros discount. Why? And all you get is a small, tiny logo at the end of the book says blurb made with Lightroom. I mean, come on. You know, it's uh, it's uh, pretty worth it. So I, I, unless you have to give this to someone and keep it very confidential that this was made with Blurb, uh, please leave the logo on and you will economize between five to ten dollars depending on the size. OK, once you worked out the size, um, this is how it goes. So I want to make a cover. I already prepared a cover for my Venice trip. So I'm, I, you just drop in and drop the photo now. I did here and I'm just going to slide this slightly over. So that's the front cover. I'm going to go for the back cover. Back cover, I'm going to put one of my favorite from Venice, probably this one. Uh, oh, sorry. What's wrong here? Oh, I am not on the cover. Okay, here. Front cover, back cover. I click them here and I go back here. Okay, so let me do this again. This is the cover. Venice Photography by Sage Ramelli and tac, this is the, the back cover. This is a bit too big. So when you click on a photo, you can zoom to make it the size you want. Um, now, I want the photo to really take the whole 
um, back, back of the book. So let me take another photo, which will be more fitted for that. Something like this, this can be cool. Yeah, that can be nice. This is like very like Venice style. Okay, so and here uh, I can also write uh, on, the, um, on the side here, I can write Venice uh, by Serge Remelli. Okay, you can even decide uh, to, you know, what font. So I'm going to select this and I'm going to go into the uh, font section here and I'm going to use the, um, I'm going to use the, I'm on universe font. That's the font I used here. And I'm going to make the tracking. Tracking is the spreading between the space between later. I'm going to make it a bit, yeah, maybe that, that big. Okay. So, and uh, that's the size of, if I go too far, too high, it's going to disappear so that the maximum I can go is about here. Okay, so that's quickly how you make the side. So now I've got a front cover, a back cover, and I've got a side already. Uh, so next, let's to click on the next spread of pages, you just click here. So now this is the first page. Now on this page, you, you can decide which type of layouts do you want. So all you do is you select your photo and here is a little arrow and you can decide. Uh, I can go, for example, um, I can go four photos and then you decide what type of spread do you want for the four photos. Like, let's say I want something like this. So um, I'm going to take, I'm going to put this picture here, this one here, for example. And um, let's take uh, this one. You can just drag and drop it, you know, as you want. Uh, maybe this one. Okay, I made a four page spread. N then I can go to next page. And oh, here is the logo. Now, okay, I only have two pages, so let me look at the overall view. So if you wanna add some pages, you can just right click on the last page and you click add page, right? And uh, so now I've got two more pages. I can decide, I can also do it in the overall view, which I usually always do that, that this is just gonna be one photo and one photo with, with, with maybe a bit of text uh, at the bottom. Okay, so now I can just drag and drop this photo and uh, put some text. So I'm going to put it into this mode and again, put some text here if I want, you know, anything that I want. Okay, and then I can uh, choose the font here. I can go into the type, choose the font. And um, so let me take something else. I'm going to go for Times New Roman, for example. Anyway, you get the idea. Okay, so now I've added a photo. I can even edit, you know, and now if I want this photo a bit smaller, I can uh, just take it and make it the way I want. I can, if I want it to make very panoramic, I can do like this. And here is the zoom factor of the photo. Okay, if I want the photo to take like this and to be like this. Okay, so that's uh, that's an idea. And on this page, for example, I can take the layout of uh, one photo, but this time with no text at all. I want the photo to take the overall page. So here I go and I take um, this photo, for example, and I put it here. Then I can place it as I want, and it's going to be taking the whole, you know, page. All right. So I could just go on and on and on, and you've got all kind of things. Let go. Let's go back in your overall view. Let's right click and add pages. You know, you can. Uh, I mean, the layout is infinite. You know, you can have uh, uh, multiple photos, and you know, with like mosaic type of things. You know, like something like this, and you'd have to drag and drop every single photo. It takes a lot of time. Now. The way I do books, uh, I go, um, I have something, I, I use the auto layout and that's the, the whole point of this video was to show you a very fast way to make a book. Um, usually there is two types of uh, like my basics, basics, uh, how do you say, presentation for each page usually is I like this idea of having, let me, sh I'm going back on this double view of having one photo on the right which is like a full screen, you know, like with no margin. And another one, uh, which is has whites around it, you know, sort of like my base uh, layout for my book. Of course, then I'm going to use double spreads and things like this. So what I do is I go into this view, I go clear layout to make it all empty. Then on the auto layout, I go, I chase, choose the option, edit auto layout preset, and, uh, you see, this is, um, so fixed one photo. This is the, the left page and this is the right page. 
so on the left page, I'm going to go for one photo. Oh, I'm sorry. Fix laid out. Um, okay. Yeah, so that's, that's, sorry, that's my, um, that's my layout preset. So one photo here, which is full spread, okay? And here, uh, one photo which has some white around it, okay? That's a fixed laid out. That's for the, the left page and the right page. No, so sorry, I, I'm missing up. That's the left page. Left page is gonna be, every left page is gonna have like some whites and a photo here. On the right page, I'm gonna choose this one, which is one photo with full screen photo. So all the left page will have some white around and all the right page, okay? Uh, on each photo, I click zoom photo to fill. I put it on to fill, so to make sure that this is gonna be filled with the photo. Uh, add photo caption, no. Okay, and um, I'm gonna call this, I'm gonna call this uh, um, save current setting as a new preset. I'm gonna call this surge book, all right? create so now I'm down so I'm on search book and check it out I select all my all my photos here uh, I mean I'm in my collection and I just cl click auto layout boom in one second my book is uh, of course it's not finished but it's kind of ready to go so now I can just you know I know already that this is my cover so this is here and this is maybe the back of the cover all right and um, and then I go into the two-page view and I just tweak everything. Two-page view, so that's maybe make this a bit smaller. I want this to be really full screen. So one thing you see here, how this has a sort of low opacity, that's the margin. If you really want your photo to be printed completely on your page, make sure it, like you don't have any whites uh, in that part, you know. So uh, something like that. Okay, I put my title. This is the back cover, absolutely. All right, I'm not going to do the side because you know how I do it. And then I just go through this. So this is gray and there is no area to put a photo because that's the back of the hardcover. So there's no photo there. And there I can just decide which photo I want. You know, okay, maybe this one, you know. And that's kind of nice. I want to make it a bit smaller. No, I want it to be full screen. So no whites anywhere around. But like this, okay, that's my first two page. So you see... This is like more of a detailed photo, so I'm gonna switch. I'm gonna click this one and put it on the left, and it's gonna switch them. I'm gonna make this one full screen, so it goes really on the paper, and this one I'm gonna make much smaller, and zoom out. I just wanna, yeah, something like that, or much bigger. Okay, it's just a little detail. I, you know, I kind of like this presentation, so then I go to the next page spread. And one good thing about this sort of random thing is that Sometimes you will find, you know, by random, like, oh, there's two photos, you know, for example, this one, uh, you know, they work great together, you know, same tones of color, you know, it really, uh, wow, that's a good idea, but I would put this one on the left and this one on the right because this is more detailed photo, but you will find like happy accidents, you know, because it's going to basically uh, do all the layout for you, but it's just a base, you know. It's just a base, but it goes, I find it that it goes much faster. Of course, you can do, you know, really advanced books, but uh, you see, that's that's how it goes. I really like that. Um, so basically, uh, the other thing I want to show you is that uh, you can ch change uh, the layout. For example, I like the full page spread. So I'm going to take the next page. I'm going to go on this, and I'm going to say that this photo, I want a uh, two-page spread, okay? Full two-page spread, boom. And it took out the other one and you can even see the shadow of the in-between and it's a full two-page spread. I like two-page spreads. Sometimes I use them in the books, you know. But don't abuse them too much because you, uh, you have to understand that when you put a two-page spread per experience, when you open the book, it kind of breaks the photo in two. You don't see it that well. Sometimes just like this one, for example, let me, show, let me zoom on this one. You know, like, like it's just a full screen, no margin photo works better. And this is uh, a detail, so I'm gonna. It's actually me and my wife, so I'm gonna make it like this, uh, and I just and I just go on and on and on. And I usually that's my thing, you know. Out of the two photos, what's the most important one or, or the nicest one? So for for me, the nicest one, the nicest one is this one. So I put the nicest one full screen, 
and uh, this one which is more like a detail I'm gonna put like this you know a bit a bit less there you know and then also I advise you when you travel because this is just like nice landscape when you travel what can be nice if you take like details which are let me show you for example uh, which are you know uh, like for example this taxi uh, you know here I have a, let me show you I'm just gonna, gonna take this page for example here I'm gonna zoom on it okay this is a restaurant I'm gonna put like four photos on this one and uh, and it's good, you know, when you, uh, for photos, let's take something like this, for example, that's a nice thing. So here we have a restaurant. Uh, here we have a taxi. You know, that's how the taxis are, the water taxis. Um, what else can we take? Let Some kind of like, you know, minor detail of the city, you know. Uh, I think I had some phone booth photos somewhere. I don't know if I have it because they have this. Uh, no, I don't have it. I just don't have it. Uh, but you get the whole idea. You know, you don't have, not every landscape has, for example, this is another restaurant, you know, which is very nice. I can just put it there. And, uh, okay, I only have three photos, fine. So let's just go to three photos. And let's take this workout, you know, and make this this one be the, the biggest one, for example. I mean, it's infinite what you can do, and it goes so fast. I mean, I've, I've made books, I used to make books with um, iPhoto from Apple, and boy, is Lightroom faster. Boy, is Lightroom faster. I mean, it's good, I photo. Oh, no, this is another detail photo, just a guy, you know, it's not a splendid landscape, you know. So you can do things like this, you know, and you just go through your book, you know, this is totally not right. Uh, no, this should go as a detail. So let's invert. This one is gonna go full screen, for example. You know, boom, the San Marco Prazza. This is a detail of the San Marco Prazza. Uh, it's actually a detail which is very close, but you know, it's just for the hell of, of the of the thing. But I usually don't work with this, um, you know, two page spread. I usually work like this first. And then I final check everything with a two page spread. So it goes real fast. I mean, last time it took me an hour to do a book, you know. Uh, so that's the idea, using the auto layout. Once your book is finished, then all you have to do is send book to blurb. And uh, then they will ask you there to create an account and basically you pay and you get the books really fast and it's great quality, very easy to use. So I advise you, if you have not done it yet, use Lightroom to make your books. You will not stop on making them because it's really a great feature. Voila, hope that this will get you started with making books. It's really that simple. Okay, guys, now before we go, I want to show you my website, photosearch.com. If you go onto the App Store, you get all my apps, and I have a very special price for January, which is minus 30%. I did it for Christmas. It was a huge success. I'm doing, doing it again in January because it's, we have special promotion always right after Christmas in France. I don't know if it's like that in the rest of the world. But the whole idea is you can get all the Lightroom 4 training for $21 instead of $30, all Photoshop training for $28 instead of $40, and all Photoshop and Lightroom 4 training, $49 instead of $70. And you get courses from me. Um, you get all the details on this page. Voila, let's get back to the studio. So I hope you like that tutorial. This week's inspiration is, of course, Blurb.com, the website that's in partnership with Lightroom 4. On the website, you will get tons of inspiration on how to make a book. You will see examples of books uh, that you can check by... Uh, subject by photographer by countries they have all kind of ways you can check books out and if you don't know how to make a book or what layout to choose you will get tons too much inspiration even from the website but it's great okay guys thank you for following this episode and if you can help me getting this episode known by sharing it on google plus or on youtube that'd be awesome thank you very much and see you next week Wow, 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 wow.